and welcome to Americans Learn. My name is Lauren and today I'm watching a Zay Frank video. This was suggested by one of our channel members. So thank you so much for suggesting it. Um, and this is a Zay, like I said, Zay Frank video. It is about the bizarre magic of water walkers. So like those little stick buggies, right? That like skate along the water. And I always think that they are going to be bitey, but they don't actually, I know they don't actually bite, but I'm always like worried that they're going to because they look like mosquitoes to me. Like so spindly and weird. I do remember seeing them. They're cool. They are cool. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Zay Frank is going to tell me about them. Um, and like, what else can they do? Uh, what are they called? Like, uh, Skeeter? No. This episode. Oh, no. Um, what's the word for them? Frick. Water skimmers? Something like that? Sponsored by like, Brilliant. Is that the other name for them? I'm sure you've seen them flitting yeah, around atop a pond like some frolicking water puppies. I mean, who knows what they're up to? But it looks like fun, doesn't it? Look at that one, rolled right on his back. <laughs> now, oh, if you want to play go. around on the surface of the water, there's a couple of ways to I do fly. it. You can be sort of half in, half out like this fly. You know, have a nice little float around. However, this fly isn't really built for water sports. No. It has some trouble with the moving part. Um, and that's, that that's pretty bad. It is. It is because there's so much stuff in the water that I'm definitely going to yank you. Because water striders oh. are very good at hunting things oh. that have accidentally wet flies? themselves. Jerry, that's an awkward line. They have these long okay, knitting things that have accidentally wet themselves. Jerry, that's an. Well, I mean, you already made a water sports joke, so there it is. But oh, how do they eat? They don't have. Do they? Have, do they have teeth? I thought they didn't. Okay. Awkward line. They have this long needle-like proboscis at the end of their face, and they can use it to poke right through the outside oh of a God. fly. Oop, didn't say it was easy. <laughs> Once the proboscis is in there, it squirts out some digestive juices. Ugh, well, you know what? Isn't that how the fly kind of does it too? They like vomit out digestion and then they can eat it that way? Starts digesting the fly from the inside out. Oh my God, that's and This particular gross. fly couldn't give a shit. Look at it, it's washing its hands. Get on with it. That proboscis has a little flexi Ugh. straw inside of it, and they use that to suck out the insides. Gross! If you fall into some water and are struggling, water striders are like the opposite of water a lifeguard. Water striders. They're a death sum. Okay, striders. I called them skimmers. Thing. Maybe doormen, because they let people in. Death doormen. And then soon enough, you got a whole bunch of them. It's oh like a buffet. God. Oh, that's horrible to look at. Oh my God, poor fly. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. But like a dirty buffet, because oh. while you're eating, some- well, I mean, all buffets are dirty. Buffets are nasty, though. Some might just hop on and start having sex with you. You oh. need more than a sneeze guard on that buffet, I'll tell you what. Great. I mean, it all looked cute from far away, didn't it? Up close, things get freaky. Now, these Dang. insects can hunt and fight and have relations on Orgies. top of the water without getting wet because of surface tension. Just a quick refresher, water molecules are into bondage. They get all handsy with their neighbors. It's like an orgy. You don't know whose bits you're pulling yeah, on or letting orgy. go of. It's fluid. Get it? Gross. Now, under the surface, Gross. that grabbing is in all directions. But on the surface, one side is air. Those molecules, they're on the outside yeah. of the orgy. <laughs> their little hineys getting all chilly. They can only get grabby down into the sides. And this extra grabbing along the surface causes a layer of molecules to act almost like an elastic sheet. And you can sit right on top of it. Well, you can't, but a water strider can because okay. of some key adaptations. If you look close at these little bastards, you can it's see they're a fuzzy. bit furry. Oh. That's because most of their body is covered with these tiny little hair-like seti. These seti have a waxy okay. coating, which is something that water doesn't want to bondage with. On the legs, you can see that the tips of the seti bend inwards, so as not to be pokey-pokey on the surface. Oh, you can also see that, that the individual seti are grooved. And that's because all this hairiness and roughness trap little pockets of air, which can act like a cushion between the insect and the water's surface. Now, their whole body is covered with these little okay. seti, and I'll give you one reason why. Rain, which is f***ing traumatic at this size. <laughs> but look at that, they're cool with it. Oh, <laughs> it looks like right. some of them are even having fun. Look at this one riding the upswing and doing a backflip. <laughs> this incredible okay. ability to repel water allows them to hang out on wow. the surface. But it also I hadn't really even thought about that, like how much rain must like fuck with bugs. How many of them drown every week, you know, every time it rains? Except for these guys, apparently. So means there's not all that much friction on that surface. Oh, that looks so like weird. Uh, Stop trampoline with roller skates on. So if they Oh, that looks so weird. Uh have you ever, like, when the soup gets the little skin on it, have you ever, like, just used taken a toothpick and tried to, like, just see how long it takes to, like, accidentally poke through it? Just me? Oh, that's bizarre. Want to move, they have to use some tricks. Even though those little hairs are water repellent, the fact that they're all pointed in one direction and a little bendy-bendy 
means that they can generate very small adhesive forces with the surface, but only if you go against the grain. Okay. So they can use that in addition to pushing off the side of those little oh, that dimples cool. that they make. So they don't break the surface, but rather transfer their momentum to water underneath the surface. The strokes leave behind oh, a trail of these swirling horseshoe vortices. Wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, I mean, I've always liked, like, I've always liked the look of, like, the, the oil slicks, like, of the rainbow, like, in a gas station or something, when it's, like, once it's rained and there's a little bit of oil, like, that, beautiful. it's beautiful. You know, it's bad for the environment. It is beautiful to look at a lot of the time. This is gorgeous. And I like the color correction that they've done here, too. It's also, it makes it even prettier. I mean, very Van Gogh, huh? A lot like what you might see behind a boat being oh, so rowed. Pretty. This sort of movement, rowing and gliding, is quite efficient, but it's not the only way to do it. Some other water walking insects use what's called a tripod gait. It can look a bit awkward, and it's not as efficient. But this sort There's of movement than allows kind? them to walk both on water and Idiot. solid surfaces, which certainly comes in handy if your pond's filled with duckweed. I'm kind of an idiot. I definitely always thought there was just like what, like I've, I didn't think about there being more than one kind of creature that can walk on the water, other than Jesus. Can't row through that. Shit. Now, even though this looks a bit more like walking, the interaction with the water surface is similar to the water strider. Little waxy hairs trapping pockets of air and creating vortices. But there's so times where you might need a bit more oomph in your step. For one, there's things right below you that want to eat you, and they can see you quite Valid. well. It's like if the lions at the zoo were just behind some saran wrap. Oh. The water strider's not going to rowboat its way out of this one, so no. instead it jumps. And they're quite good at it, too. Oh, but I know cool. what you're thinking, Clever Nipples. Water striders clever can nipples. fly. What? Well, it turns out by the time they've started the engines and gotten through the safety demonstration, they'd be fish food. <laughs> a smaller water strider can do all this without breaking the surface. Okay. But some of the larger ones break through and push off the water below. And you can see all those cool. air bubbles that their legs bring with them. But not everyone is gifted with such long-ass legs. Springtails, for example. I mean, looking Look at, at them, them, you wouldn't think that hurdles would be their event. But Lindsay no, has some serious ups, and we're going to learn how she does it in a second. But let me tell you, learning has changed quite a bit since I was young. <laughs> Look how I mean, brilliant they makes are. learning interesting I and really fun. Didn't know there was it's not more just than rote memorization guys. and staring at flashcards anymore. No, Brilliant has thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. You can take a course on scientific thinking and build up your intuition about how the world works. And you know how you do it? With visual interactive problem solving, so you can get all hands-on with the key concepts. You're going to have so much concepts on your hands. And this method of learning has proven to be six times more effective than just watching lectures. Whether I mean, you want to learn how to lectures. think in code or brush up on your calculus, Brilliant helps you develop a powerful daily learning habit. You can get smarter with brief, concise lessons in just minutes a day. And while you're at it, you cut you down on doom scrolling, do so win-win. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash zayfrank or scan the QR code on screen. I've put the link in the description as well. Oh, You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Brilliant's been a long-time sponsor of this show, and I'm a fan. Check them out today. Where were we? All right. Oh, right. Stubby legs. Lindsay here is quite Lindsay. the jumper. And that's because most springtails have a, you'll never guess, a springtail. Oh, well, sort of. The science hippies call it a fricula. And most of the time, they keep it tucked in like a sad dog butt. Sorry, Aww. like a sad dog. But if they need to get away in a hurry, they can pop it out. Jerry, what the hell was that? that? Barely moved. And it couldn't escape a fart. Do another no, one. That would do anything. Oh, all right, that's oh, better. Oh, I know what you're oh, thinking. That's okay. cool, but it's basically jumping just with your ass. And but if you look close, they've got another little trick going on. They've got okay. a little tubey thing on their tum tum that attracts water. So you oh. can see as they take off, they take a little drop of water with them. And that's because if you launch yourself into a crazy backflip, you're going to pull out all the stops to stick the landing. Oh, First thing beautiful. they do is change their posture midair. And as they fall, this gives them a better chance of landing right side up. Now, if they don't, because their bodies are water repellent, they'll bounce that's, around a bit. I was going to say, it's like the, uh, <laughs> like, like the, the jelly on toast, you know? And if you put jelly on toast and you drop it, it will always land jelly side down. This is what the water does. It just, it's, the water on their stomach is the jelly on the toast, ensuring that you're always going <laughs> to Or you bounce, you know, whatever. Fine. That's embarrassing I like my metaphor for anyway. But if they get it just right, they can use that Ooh. little drop of water they've been carrying to attach to the water's surface. 
It's sticking the landing, but with like real sticking. Now springtails aren't the only weird. ones to realize the benefits of having some body parts that attract water. Look, <laughs> Darnell here wants to show you his. Many of these water the walkers names. have a pair of claws on the tips of oh, their legs. Dear. They're smooth so they don't trap air, and water is attracted to them. And they can use them to pull up on the surface oh, of the cool. water. You might you say like big deal, but it allows them to do a bit of a magic trick. Here you can see Mesavilia try to scramble up the curve at the edge of the glass. Mesavilia. That doesn't work, but then... come up with some of these names, dude? Watch this. Let oh. me explain. When water molecules come in contact with something that they're more attracted to than other water molecules, they bond with it. But not only that, they'll start to climb up that surface and pull their neighbors along with them. Oh, okay. This creates a I curve guess you in the... I see that like in the rain or whatever. Like, you can... When you can see the water kind of getting stuck on the top of the glass. Okay. Or in like rain, I guess. Droplets, maybe? I feel like there's ways... I feel like there's something I'm just barely not getting here. ...the water that changes the direction of the forces acting on the one with them. This creates a curve in the water that changes okay. the direction of the forces acting on the water molecules. You got gravity, surface tension, the attraction of water molecules to each other, and to the new surface. And eventually they balance each other out. And how does but this help the bugs? This is essentially a frictionless hillside if you're small like Delilah here. Okay. And her water walking won't work, she just slides right off. So to climb it, she first turns and faces it head on. Then she pulls the surface up with her front legs, but also with her hind legs, oh. while simultaneously pushing down with her middle legs. Now this changes the oh. surface tension and the direction that these forces are pulling. And That's really cool. I never really thought about all of the, like, the all three, all three sets of legs giving, like, having different jobs. <laughs> They all have a very unique purpose. That's so cool. That's why they have six legs. What? Suddenly many symbols appear. But the bottom uh -huh. line is symbols that the changes appear. to the shape of that curve create an imbalance of forces that pull the liner up until they're balanced again. Now this oh, is especially helpful can... if you're a little beetle larva like this one. Hey, Not yo. water repellent, no fancy hooks. Wouldn't even have to dress up to be a fish food pellet for Halloween. But watch. It creates a curve by arching its body. Zoop. And that oh, means wow. it can get to an edge and climb out to safety. Oh, now these forces cool. that pull two curves together are the same ones that cause your Cheerios to clump. And it what? also works if both curves are pointed down into the water's surface. You know, it can get a little awkward if you run into your ex. All right, well, oh. it was good to see you. I have to, uh, uh oh, f no. It's giving spore. <laughs> you know, the game? <laughs> like, anyway. Oh, that's cool. I didn't really ever, like, I honestly haven't had Cheerios and milk in a long time. But, like, I didn't really... That's cool. Circles make it yoink together. That's awesome. Now the teeny microvelia like Deborah here. Oh, that's not Deborah. Okay. It's Casey. Oh. Like Casey here have another trick up there. Well, you'll see. If their little feet and legs get tired from all the scampering, they can just stop and go, Ugh! and look at that. They take off like a little rocket. I know what you're thinking, fart power, no. What they're doing is releasing a small droplet of liquid out their butt. And this liquid acts like dish detergent would if you put a drop into some water with pepper suspended on the surface. Whoa! The molecules of these liquids will sit on the surface of the water and get in between water molecules. So then there's less water bondage on the surface and less surface tension. The water surrounding that droplet has higher surface tension, and because of that, it pulls on the area of lower surface tension. And this becomes a kind of wave that you can surf. And oh, you can cool. try this in a pool. Release something out your butt and see how fast everyone moves away. I mean, they will. Gross. Zinger. Ew. Okay. Oh, okay. Over. <laughs> what do you mean you called it? It's not whoever sees it first. It's not shotgun. And even if it, what the hell? You just bit my ass. Minnow. No, no, my ass does not look like a fly's ass. You did that on purpose. You don't go around biting someone's ass because you have hurt feelings. Stop it. Even if you did call it, god damn it. <laughs> even if you, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> get out, get out. I heard you. Ow. Aw. Poor little Minnow not getting his little treat. multiple kinds of water bug like that walks on the water like I have only seen the one kind or at least I only recognize the one kind as you know the obvious water bug that is you know more fool me obviously should have probably guessed taken that into account but I didn't because I'm an idiot oh that was interesting okay cool and again the idea that like all 
like I just kind of thought it was like for stability, like that they had six legs, that insects have six legs. I, I didn't really think about it them doing different things at the same time in order to help with quick movement or something. I just was like, oh, like, no, this is, this is how they, they just did. I just, I guess I just accepted it. Humans have two legs, insects have six, arachnids have eight. Like, I just was like, this is just how it is. Does that mean that like, cause again, I thought it was like stability things. Um, so do, do the spiders use all eight of their legs independently like that to do something similar? I mean, I guess they could, they do when they're making webs, but I guess I usually kind of think of like, spider when it makes a web it's like holding on with one pair of legs and spinning with the other so i don't know i guess that's that's four i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure but i'm sure zay frank has a video about it so thank you so much for watching this one um i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next episode